a Zimbabwean cleric based in the United Kingdom, Howard Njomi, is upset. He has alleged that Professor Lavmo Maduku, representing Hubert Angel, has been paid huge sums of money, and to him, this is a mockery to Zimbabweans. He said, for his decision to represent Hubert Angel in such a serious matter and to pocket huge sums of cash for this, he would never have peace. You can even fly for holidays to Mauritius, to Dubai, to America, to Kwesi Kwamnoda, and you are going to be happy because you you represented Angel Hubert and the government of Zimbabwe and Angel Hubert, they paid you. But there is something which I want to tell you, Mr. Maduku. That money is not going to give you peace. Your conscience will eat you. Are you not wise in your own eyes, Mr. Maduku? Are you not calling evil good and good evil? Pastor Jomi, who had clamored for the arrest of Ibn Angel a fortnight ago, laid into the legal luminary that a gold mafia documentary was a subject that should not be taken lightly. But a statement from the lawyer smacks off impunity and disrespect to all Zimbabweans. Mr. Maduku, all your life ever since you were born, 56, 57 years, you have lived on earth. Today, listen to this. You might have received piles of money stashed in envelopes or in elastic. Could you represent me? And you are playing with the words. Have a conscience. When we have a nation which is a suffering at the hands of other nationalities who are coming and they're siphoning gold, taking gold out, taking lithium, platinum and all the minerals to develop their countries. And our people are struggling. Some of them don't have daily bread. And you are coming out and mocking the people of Zimbabwe. You are coming out joking about the seriousness of this gold mafia scandal document. What is my message? Repent before you die. Professor Maduku told the media on Friday in Harare that Hubert Angel and his team were playing along as a result of national intelligence strategy. A decision was taken with the intelligence authorities that the, my client would play along. He would not cancel his interactions with these persons. He would meet them and meet them as if he was going to make arrangements for them to make the president and for them to be able to do investments in Zimbabwe. So it was in the context of a national intelligence operation. Zimbabwe wanted to gain intelligence out of it, wanted to see how far its enemies could go and what the agendas were. And these were issues to do with that. That is the context. Now